Hey family, welcome back to my channel. Let's get started. Be positive. Say daily affirmations. I love myself. I am blessed. I am worthy. I am successful. If somebody pisses you off, think happy thoughts. Walk away. These are things that I always consistently tell you guys, but let's be realistic. Positivity is hard to do. I'm human and so are you. Yes, the best thing to do is to stay positive. The best thing to do is to be positive, to have positive people around you, to have positive things around you, to have a positive outlook on stuff when things are going bad, think on the bright side, but we are all human. I don't want you to get it twisted. I don't want you to walk up to somebody and be like, if they say they have cancer, well, everything will be okay. Don't you stress. Like I don't want <laughs> I don't want none of that stuff to go on. But the the way about looking at it is sis, I know you're going through stuff. I'm here to help you if you ever need a shoulder to lean on or a shoulder to cry on. I'm here for you and I will never let you down. That's being positive. You're telling her you're there for her instead of being like, "Yo, I'm sorry. Bye." That's negative. Extreme positive is just being like, girl, you'll be okay. Knowing that th you don't know if that's the truth and if sh there's like a death sentence that it's inevitable, that it's uncurable, the person, the person really don't want to hear that. So when I tell you guys to be positive, I just mean try not to dwell on the negativity. Yes, we go through things. Yes, things happen in life that we just question, like I lost my job, I lost my boyfriend or my girlfriend, I got a, uh, somebody ran into my car, one of my family members got really sick, somebody stole my money, shit happens. But the f point of me saying to stay positive is to say, don't dwell on it. Face it. Face what you're going through. Like, don't run away from your problems. That is not being positive. Do not run away from your problems. I'm a firm believer in facing what your issue is so that you know how to deal with it. So then there is a light at the end of the tunnel, which is positivity. Y'all feel me? You grasp what I'm saying? See or no? See or no? I think you said yes. So, continuing on the positive path, I think that affirmations are good. Affirmations are positive quotes or sayings that you say to yourself to boost you up a bat. Uh, um, boost you up when things are going bad. I think you should have a journal that you could just write all your bad stuff. But also, when you're writing these things that's going on, try to have on the flip page, like what I can do to fix it and correct it. Not just spewing out the bad things. Because then again, that's where we're going to focus on the bad shit. And then not think about the good things as well. Also, be thankful. Thankful, thankful, thankful. Being thankful will help you through a lot of shit. Like, I went through a lot of stuff, but I was thankful that I have my family, my health, my faith, a roof, a roof over my head that some could say they don't have. Yes, I lost my job. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? Sit in my bed and be like, woe is me. Jesus hates me. Why does he keep having these things happen to me? Like, God, what the heck? Why do you hate me so much? Or I could be like, yo, this sucks, man. Like, why? And then quickly, I dealt with it. Why did it happen? Because they were closing the department. Was it me? That reason why I got fired? No, it wasn't me. It's because the department closed. Now that I know why this happened, now I could take the steps to move on. Some people, they get fired, they easily move on. Other people, when they get fired, that's a, that's a knife in your heart because you know you were doing a good job. So why are you letting me go now? Like, th this doesn't make any sense, but that is what I mean when I say be positive. Please don't get it twisted. And the only reason why I made this video is because somebody 
a few people sent me messages like Shay, I really thank you for telling me to be positive and I thank you for opening up about your story and what you've been through but it's hard when stuff happens it's hard to just have a positive outlook and I get it trust me I get it simple fact I argue with my family all the time and I to the point I hate is a bad word but when I'm in the moment I hate them that's just being true I'm here to be honest with you I hate them but then I have to sit down and 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 think about it like what did I do to make this relationship get to this point? What did they do to get to make this relationship get to this point? Is it salvageable or should I just not stress myself about it? The key is to face the problems, try to correct it. If you cannot correct it, leave it there, let God deal with it, move on and live your life. When you dwell on negativity, you're doing yourself a disservice and you're betraying the good person that you are. Betrayal does not only happen to others, but you can betray yourself. And I go more into this on my podcast, which is today. Click the link, click the link right here and you could get when go into my podcast to hear what I talk about finding your purpose, how to start a business, stop being your own worst critic, love yourself. I'm just here to help you guys out and YouTube gives me a little bit of space and a little bit of breathing room to do so, but I go into more depth with it on my podcast and my blog. So if you want to check out my podcast, please click the link right here. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you like videos like this, please thumbs up. Let's try to get this to 50 likes. 50 likes. We're family. So I know we could do this. It means a lot to me because it, ne it lets me know that you guys are feeling what I'm saying. I love you guys once again so much for watching. I'll see you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles.